Hello Tikis. In our previous session, we have learned how to work with create new data table variable action. By using create new data table variable action, we can create a new data table variable and then if you click on edit, we can add the columns and rows for the new data table. Now, in this session, we will learn how to work with set variable to create a new data table. If you observe in our create new data table variable action, we have given the data like columns and rows manually. What if I want to add the columns and rows at the runtime? How can I go ahead and proceed that? There is another way to create a new data table with variable that is set variable action. Let me drag and drop the set variable action onto the workspace. So by using the set variable, we can set the value for an existing or a new variable to create a new data table or to override the data table. For an example, I'm going to give the variable name as variable products over here. And then the values. What are the values that I need to give it over here in this variable? To create a data table, I need columns and rows. Agree? So for that columns, how can I go ahead and give the values over here in this value section? Let me open a notepad to make you understand. To give the values in this products variable, first of all, I need to use percentage. And after that, inside that, I'm going to use curly braces over there. I need to start a variable like this and then whenever you are going to give the columns over here, you have to use a arrow. And then I'm going to mentioning the values in the square brackets. In the square brackets, I'm going to give it a single quote for each and every column. In my data table, I'm having five columns. One is product name. I'm going to mention comma over here inside my square brackets. And then I'm going to give product code as another column, comma. Another one is the price. Fourth column is the availability. And the fifth one, I'm going to give it as description. If you see over here, before my square brackets, what are the values that I'm going to give it? I got the upper arrow. So in that case, what it will do, it will mentioning as the columns over here. And then now I have added my all my columns. Now I need to mention the rows over there so that I'm not going to use any up arrow over here. I'm just going to use the square brackets and then I'm going to give the values over here for the respective columns. I have mentioned five columns over here so that I need to give five values in a row, right? I'm going to give the same values like I'm going to give it as Dell is the laptop. Another one product code, I'm going to give it as 005. Another one, I'm going to give the price over here as 40,000. Availability, I'm going to give it as yes. And after that, finally description, I'm going to give it as good laptop for development. Okay, this is the description which I have given, right? Now in the same way, if I need to add another row, I'm going to mentioning the comma over here after the square brackets and then I'm going to give one more row over here that is inside the square brackets and I'm going to mentioning the values. So in the second row, I have given it as the mobile as Samsung and the product code I have given it as 006 and price is 10,000. Availability, yes. And the description I have given it as mobile. Now, if you observe in our previous session, we have given three rows, but over here in our product table that is set variable by using set variable, we have given the variable as V products. So now whenever I'm going to mention these values inside the values, now at the runtime, it will be making as a data table. This is the another way to create a new data table. All right. Now let me click on save. Now, if you see, I'm having the variable with the V products, right? Inside that V products, I have given the values. Few values I have given it as the columns. Another one, another two rows I have given it as rows over here. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. 
flow execution started there you can see it has created a new table with the product with the name product data table and you can see over here in the product data table i'm having three rows and five columns let's double click on that now if you see in our previous session we have seen about this like the columns and the rows now in this session we have created a new data table by using set variable action right this is the another way to create a data table at the runtime now if you see i'm having v products with the two rows and five columns let's double click on that now you can see over here i'm having product name product code price availability and the description and you have two rows over here now if you observe this v product there you can see the data type is data table over here all right once the data table has created successfully by using set variable we are going to write the data into the excel by using excel automation action such as launch excel write to excel worksheet and close excel in our previous session what we have done we have used product data table which we have created by using create new data table variable action now what i'm going to do i'm going to use set variable action that is v products inside my write to excel worksheet action let's double click on that and then if you observe over here previously we have used value to write that is products data table i'm going to delete that and now i'm going to use set variable output that is flow variable that we got it as v products let's select the variable and there you can see i am having v products the type is data table i'm going to select that and then i'm going to click on select and then i'm going to click on save now in our previous session while well, at the time of close an excel we have used save document right at that time the document will be stored inside my documents in my laptop folder right there i have created book 1 as a default now once i run this flow what will happen it will override the existing data in the book 1 all right let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started now if you see by using set variable we got the data table that is v products data table all right now by using excel automation it will write the data into the book 1 excel sheet by using write to excel worksheet action flow has executed successfully now let's open the book 1 to see the output now if you observe the excel now i got the output over here which is same as is by using create new data table variable action there you can see i am having in my set variable that is v products data table i have inserted two rows all right there you can see i am having dell and the product code is 005 and the price is 40000 and the availability is yes, and the description is good laptop for development another row i have added as mobile that is samsung product code is 006 and the one price is 10000 and availability is yes and the description is mobile i hope you understand how to work with set variable to create a new data table variable as part of this tutorial